Well, hello, hello, peeps. Here we have a solo shuffle at 2k rating on the DH. Uh, as usual, we will go over the good, the bad, and the ugly. Most of the ugly since I'm kind of quite rusty here. Took kind of a break from WoW. Um, we're also going to be discussing the rating changes and in general how I feel about uh, WoW coming back playing some other games. So the rating was definitely an issue. Like, I feel a much better, like, queuing up going 3-3 and then actually getting some rating than actually being 0-0, you know, at, at 1800, you know, rating, so... Uh, well, I was 1900, but you, you know what I mean, right? It definitely feels a lot better to wait, like, a 30-minute queue and then go 3-3, right? It definitely feels, um, you know, a lot... Uh, you're also losing a lot le less rating. I, I haven't, like, lost rating yet, but uh, I would probably guess that you lose a lot less. Um, here I'm gonna win, I think, four games, and so I'm gonna... Um, I think I get like 50 something rating, which before you would get like 10 or something, so it just feels a lot better to actually play, how would you say, to enjoy the game, uh, definitely, so uh, even though I thought rating was maybe not a direct issue for me, I understood it was an issue for the overall community, I kind of see now that even for me, who, uh, you know, you know, is not like top, TPT top of the bracket can kind of have some... Um, room because when you kind of hit 2k you kind of reaching into that uh, before of course i'm talking about like two weeks before when you would reach 2k you would kind of re reach that rating where you would just play with uh, really experienced and uh, really good players rank one players and stuff so um, it just kind of made it very i would say hard to progress you know hard, hard to have that uh, goal kind of post because is I kind of use the an analogy, right? It, it's kind of you. You need to work your skills, right? You, if you're training martial arts, you're not gonna be uh, fighting Mike Tyson on your first boxing day, right? You're gonna be training with the trainer. He's gonna teach you the moves. So you can kind of say that we are at that uh, amateur, you know, level where we are taking fights and whatnot. But like we are not fighting Mike Tyson, right? So why am I fighting Mike Tyson when I'm trying to do an amateur fight, right? Why is Tyson Fury punching me out in an amateur fight, you know? So that, that's kind of how I felt uh, in like 2K lobbies. Like a lot of the times you just have people who are like, you see by the not just the glad mount, but you recognize the names or whatever. You're just like, okay, what the fuck? How, am I, how did I get into this lobby? And it was like, you're waiting 40 minutes to get and then get kind of crushed. So um, for me, it happened like two or three times, and I was like, I was like, okay, I'm satisfied with 1900 on my characters because the moment you touch 2K, it's just uh, very unfun. Like, unfortunately, just Mike Tyson punching you in the face. Um, here I think we're just gonna be going for, I think going priest, but it just should just go Pala. Pala is just so squishy here. I feel like Pala is just squishing these kinds of um, lobbies, kind of half caster or caster lobbies, it's kind of hard for Paladins to survive still, I think. They do have like more defensives, just when they get through the defensives, they just kind of flop over, I, was, I feel like. Uh, the Blizzard definitely, I think, uh, nerfed their passive defense too much, in my opinion. But I haven't played a Paladin recently, so I, I can't really talk from like direct, direct ex experience, so... Um, another thing I wanted to talk about is uh, Collective Anguish, the talent uh, the, for DH is still freaking bugged, it's just so freaking annoying, I don't know, Blizzard is just doesn't seem to like react to it, like it doesn't seem to have any reaction to it or wanting to fix it, but by now I haven't seen, like when I looked at some of the changes things and whatever, I haven't seen, seen uh, Collective Angu Anguish even like mentioned. Sorry I had to take a drink there, but um, I, I just don't know, like... Um, like, it's such a huge part, especially of the build that I'm playing right now, uh, it's just kind of a huge part uh, that, uh, of it, you know, and I would get so much more defensive uh, utility from it, and just defense overall, and... I don't know, we hope, hopefully, we get this fixed soon, so we can actually enjoy uh, DH fully, I would say, because right now, it's, it's, it's actually a huge part of your healing, before it was, and right now, when you have, like, more I-beams with this build, that I'm playing, uh, you, I don't know. It's just kind of weird to me. Um, also, a thing I wanted to discuss as well is that the 0 to 1800 videos are coming. I'm gonna start doing them again. Um, I just think I want to do um, a Paladin or some new classes this time because I feel like still a lot of my like older guides uh, are still kind of good, just a bit like a rotational update. 
uh, for the build, right? Or talent update as well. But like the general parts of the guide and all, all other parts of the guide are still, I think, are really beneficial for people to watch. And uh, so, um, uh, for the DH and the enhance, I have a rotational guide. You can watch that, and I have um, the old uh, kind of like um, zero to eighteen hundred guides, which you, which you can watch as well. Uh, here, I think I'm just gonna commentate uh, on the match. Unfortunately, I want to kind of uh, talk about some stuff. Also, if you are wondering, you kind of a returning viewer and you're wondering why I haven't been uh, doing some WoW content lately, you can watch my uh, recent videos, uh, kind of explain about it, that kind of was disillusioned with the game, right? I was not happy with the game and I was also just uh, kind of a, I was, how would you call it, a content drought or, or whatever? Here I make a huge mistake, I remember this. Like, just don't, yeah, just stop the hunt. I, I, I don't know why I thought the hunt would beat beat the horrify there like the interaction like i don't know why my in my brain i was like I, i'm gonna beat this interaction of course you're gonna get feared first so but yeah you can kind of see what i was talking about like i was disillusioned about the game and uh, co kind of a content drought i guess not a lot of people watching so not feeling as motivated right to make the videos to to you know do the editing and stuff but now I'm feeling a much better, so I'm, we're just going back into, how would you say, we're gonna go back into probably a video a day and, uh, for my good, uh, how would you say, returning viewers. Here we're just trying Priest, but honestly I think we should have swapped uh, Mage. Like we should have swapped Mage because like Priest, I don't know why, but Shadow Priest just feels like unkillable in some comps for me. Like we just we chunk him sometimes, but it's just never really that much, you know, that enough. It's also might be that we are just not doing good CC. Like we're just not doing the best CC. Here we get kind of close. They do a life swap. But here I do have to inform you that only 4.3% of your subscribed. So if you have been enjoying the content, please consider smashing that subscribe button. Yeah, just trying to slug him down. Unfortunately, I don't have a reverse here to get my uh, healer out of CC, and I don't think even the Paladin had. Yeah, Paladin also had everything used up, so at that point, we're just done. Unfortunately, Paladin is just gonna get bullied in this uh, lobby. Kind of the, the future of the Paladin in this game, I'm just gonna tell you. So. We're gonna go Pala here, I think I, I smelled blood at this point, I was like, yeah, just go Pala, don't waste time trying to kill the priest. The priest was just unkillable as well, like, I don't know, I don't know, I, I honestly should probably start a priest. Because, like, that's one class that's, like, kind of, sometimes I'm just like, how is this class still alive, or, you know? Like, it's it's a class that's defensive that I'm not, like, completely, like, understanding, like, I, I kind of, I understand completely, like, Warlock and their, like, Soul Leech and all those things, different things, like I kind of understand how that kind of uh, works. I'm sorry, I had to take a drink here again. I'm kind of sick, so that's why I'm um, sounding kind of weird, probably. Uh, just pumping here, the Paladin, I think he's gonna die here soon. 14 seconds, 12 seconds on uh, Forbearance, so we have a kind of a window with no CC. Or not, sorry, no CC, no defenses. I think he's actually gonna get into the window. Yep, 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 he gets uh, Spell Warden off. Here, just CCing the priest, I'm just doing something. I think the, yeah, it was on diminishing returns, the healer also, I think I had, yeah, I had nothing else to follow up the stun, so just heal, stunning the healer would probably do like nothing really there. Here again, just, uh, <coughs> sorry. Getting back on the Paladin. Mm, bumping, bumping. Come on, come on. Get him. I think we're gonna you're probably gonna get him here soon. We're getting low. Like they, they actually got really good here. I fuck up here by using. I don't think I should have used my. Um, uh, what's this called? Shadow melt. Uh, there. It ends up good in the end, but I don't think uh, the Shadow Meld was like necessary there. I could have used the Demon up and then had it on my damage there. That would have been a lot better. Here again, Paladin. I mean, Paladin is just gonna be... 
Unfortunately, how would you see the donkey of the lobby? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna get uh, attacked here, unfortunately. I get some CC going on the healer. It does uh, go through, nice. He gets followed up by the priest. So we do get a pretty decent, I would say. Pretty decent opener here. Actually, really good. I'm kind of scripted almost. Nice, nice. We're getting, uh, we get bubble. Uh, and don't, I wonder why they, they never ran mass dispel. Like, either of the priests didn't want to run it right in this game. I don't know why. I feel like for dispelling Hodge as well and whatnot, it kind of would have been beneficial. Also versus like the mage. So um, I don't know. I don't know, like, I'm not, I don't know about the talents, that's what I'm saying, like, I, I really don't know, I'm not, like, saying, oh, I don't know what they're thinking, like, I, I don't know about the talents, like, is it really, like, that hard to get, uh, mass dispel? Actually, they do have mass dispel, what? Why, what? What, 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 use it now? Was it, or was that the enemy mass dispel? I'm pretty sure it was the enemy mass dispel. just decides to fight in darkness i don't know that was uh not the choice buddy not the choice buddy like in the darkness you just uh, lose especially since we were like this was a pretty full health uh, I, I did it because um he had damage going and I, my priest also used everything up so i was like yeah i have to save the priest now at that point or help the priest here, gonna go try and go priest because we can see the priest, but honestly, should be trying to go mage. I think now, in retrospect, I'm that I'm watching this, like, I think we should have tried mage. It just feels actually for some reason way too hard to kill these priests. Like, I'm even getting some nice crits and whatnot, but it's just like an unmovable HB bar every with both healers, and I felt like with both healers, like. It, when the, the disco healed the shadow, it was also like extremely tanky. Here I use uh, use all our defenses really poorly. I wish uh, he didn't use bubble here because then it kind of uh, kind of shat on my darkness. I had to use darkness as a personal as well. We're just getting chunked here. Mage is just getting kind of uh, free cast, unfortunately. I reversed something, but I didn't pay attention. I probably was uh, reversing my games. I would assume so. Okay, we actually get the dispersion. So we actually did some damage, <laughs> some actual damage this time. We're just trying here to not take free damage. I think we're just doing some cooldowns. I'm, I mean, that's what I was probably doing. Oof, the Paladin is getting really chunked. Okay. Okay, we're doing some good damage again, but oof, just the burst healing and whatnot. And Paladin just drops, unfortunately. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. A like, comment, subscribe, all those things the YouTubers want you to do. And have a nice day!